Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is part 10th video in VCP8 data center virtualization 2023. In this video, I'm going to show you how to map LUN or data, basically storage from uh, your storage device and create a data store in VMware vCenter server. So basically in last video, we have discussed this scenario where we have create, uh, configured multi-pathing and we, we make sure like <clears throat> our ESXi host is connected with our storage with multiple ports and it should not have a single point of failure uh, with connection to the ESXi host or the storage between ESXi host and the storage. So moving forward, this is the same machine which I have used in my last video where we have configured the ESXi host and ISKC server and domain controller. So now let's go ahead and do the configuration part. So in last video, we have configured our ESXi host uh, with the this these two ISKC network. Basically, if I go here and show you a switch one, so this is what we have created in last video ISKC one, which is connected with NIC six VM NIC six and ISKC uh, NIC two, which is connected to VM NIC seven, and both we configured a IP address with the VM kernel adapter. So I have done this configuration on all four hosts now. So all four hosts should have IP. So now the next thing we need to create a LUN. So if you are doing this on production, maybe you have a physical storage and also you can ask your storage team to create a LUN and then you can map it. So since this is a lab environment, so I'm creating this uh, storage on my runs on my ISKC target server which is part of this demo so C D drive I'm going to use and click next then I'm going to put here VMware DS01 means data to 01 click next and size I'm going to give let's say 1 TB and click next a target here I'm going to create a new ISKC target so in target I'm going to put VMware uh, cluster cluster maybe VMware cluster prod uh, next and now I'm going to give access through IP so I'm going to click here IP and then let's put all the IP so 10 uh, dot ten dot ten dot triple one and then there will be a basically two so then thirteen thirteen Fourteen. So now we added all the primary NIC, basically one NIC of each ESXi host uh, to access these storage. So now I'm going to add a second NIC for each. So the first IP is 211 and second host 212, third host is 213. last host is 214 so these are the four hosts basically which we got configured so four host eight ips eight NICs to have a redundant path click next and next and just click on confirm so if you see here now when disk is created under d drive iskc virtual disk and this is the name I'm going to create one more disk in an E drive. So E drive, click next. This time we are going to use same name. So VMware DS02 this time. So click next. And the size one terabyte I'm going to use. Click next. And target I'm going to use same target because target we have already created. So it does not require to create target again. So now you can see we got two disks. So this is good. Now if I go on my ESXi host and configure this, I should be able to get them. So now to configure this thing, we need to go on storage adapter 
and then we need to add sto software storage adapter so iSCSI adapter and you will see this new option also uh, add software NVMe over TCP so this is new feature we can discuss later on in, in this videos coming video so this is what we have to do add iSCSI adapter click OK so here you will see soon ISKC software adapter is added now if I click here you will see this configuration tabs so what we need to go here we need to go on dynamic discovery add and then put the IP address of our ISKC target server so 102 and click OK now what we need to do we need to run the storage adapter scan so it will take some time you'll see here storage adapter scan is completed now if i go on device it should show you the devices so you can see here now msft iscc disk 1 disk 2 both is coming lan 0 lan 1 both size is 1 terabyte so this is good now if i show you the path you will see the path also learn number one this is the path if you want to verify so one uh, address of the ISKC target server this is this now this is good now if I go here you can basically see two IPs so what we should do here you should remove this under the static IPs you should remove this because we want communication to be happen only this IP so this is good now all looks good we can see the devices we can see the path we can see the dynamic discovery which we added we can see our this static uh, uh, is configured now if I go here and add port binding you will see our these two NICs so I'm going to click here we will use only these two NICs so click OK so now these two only having access to um, basically this storage so I'm going to run a scan again so now you will see the policy port policy compliant and path status is active this is good so all looking good now this is final you can go ahead and remove this so since we are uh, connecting with the same ethernet same network that's why it's giving this IP otherwise it should not give this IP so this is good now now what we can go and do the storage is available now if I go here and create a data store so I'm on the ESXi host now if I right click here and go to storage and new data store and VMFS volume next and then I can see the volume so LAN number one uh, zero I'm going to select and let's put it eyes can see or you can call it VMware DS01 and click next and VMFS volume 6 and size and finish and same thing you need to do one more time to create another storage data store basically so next data store name going to be 2 select click next and finish now you will see here two data stores are created so DS, VMware DS1, DS2 you can see the size also it should take few seconds to reflect you normal now you can see both are normal so this is good now what next you have to do go on second ESXi host and now I'm going to follow same thing here on the storage adapter add ISKC click OK So now what we need to do we need to go in discovery 
first go on port binding click on add and just select these two ice casi networks and click ok and now if i go to basically this static binding or dynamic so if you go on static let's add this time static binding you will see the target name you can put the target name also so i'm going to type use the dynamic this time also so okay now this is done just go ahead refresh this click okay follow the same in on all esxi host to install this adapter software adapter so this is very straightforward now you know simple to configure now if i go on iskc you will see the path is available so total four path is showing here and two learns this is good now if i go here you will automatically see we don't need to create a data store again data store is already visible here so once you create a one the data store is created there was no need to create a once again data is stored on ES, other ESXi host so this is good all active if you go here path you will see four path and here also go to path you will see the multiple path is active now so this is good this is what multipathing is so now configure on this machine also uh, ports go and add both the iskc ports and now go to dynamic discovery add your ip click ok run a storage scan that's all what you have to do on last esxi host click here network port binding click on add then click on ok and go to bindings add your ip that's all run scan run storage scan now esxi3 got the data stores two data store esxi2 also having one also having and last one this is esxi4 also got the data store map so this is basically how you can create your LAN and uh, map to your ESXi host over iSCSI protocol or you can say over IP configured uh, Ethernet adapters and all <coughs> and uh, how you can create a data store in the v VMware vSphere environment. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe me for more videos. And if you have any query, any question related to this, you can always post me in my given mail IDs. I'll try my best to answer you guys. Thank you once again. Bye bye.